So, as you know, many people do do a New Year's resolution. Um, I usually do one, but this year I don't know, really. Because last year I said to do more in the community and I achieved that. I don't know why I'm be achieving that. Um, but I just, I don't, I really don't know this year of mine. But I'm just appealing to people, especially young people, um, to give up sm smoking and drink alcohol. Um, because, you know, you feel a lot healthier doing it. And that's just right. Because, you know, again, the pack of the money wise, you know, it's it's very expensive to buy a packet of cigarettes, for example. And um, just to say, I never drank and I never smoked in my life. And I'm very proud of myself for not doing that. And um, for not going down that road. And um, very, you know, because again, I'm very proud of it because many people my age um, do smoke and do drink. Um, and it's not good for you. It's not good for you. And many people say that. Um, you know, it's better to save up. And if you, you know, if you didn't drink and you didn't smoke and you put a few bob aside, you have a holiday. And you'd be able to buy a new cow. And that's how much you, because it's amazing how many, how much people spend on cigarettes. Um, and, you know, alcohol week. And um, obviously now, there's a lot more people drinking at home. Because of the lockdown, no pubs open and things like that. And people are drinking themselves. Um, and I might just say, I know a few people that are actually drinking themselves into an early grave. I might just say straight. Um, they're drinking so much because they're annoyed at the lockdowns. They're fed up with everything. Um, and they just drink, they turn it to drink as something to sour the, the sour, you know, something that they can, um, to sour their um, nerves, I suppose you could say. And which is very unfortunate, but I say to people, you know, to give up drink, to give up drink for New Year's, for a year. Um, like I know my one, my parent here, my, my mother, um, back a few years ago, she used to smoke. Um, and this is, you know, probably 2010, let's say 2010, probably. 2011, it said 2010 to 2011, something like that. Um, she, I said to her to give up, and I was very young at the time, but I said to her to give up um, smoking. And she did, and she did, she done it without any nicotine or vape and things like that. She done very well, and I have to say, you know, very proud of her for what she did then. She never smoked, she never took a smoke after that. Um, and, you know, she saved up and she bought, you know, she bought herself something nice. Um, and, you know, it's amazing how much money she saved in a few weeks. It's amazing, it really is amazing when you put it aside. How much money would spend on smokes, um, and drink, but again I say to young people, especially to young people, because you know it's not the healthiest life. Might as smoking and drinking, it's not the healthiest life, um. Again, you know I have to be healthy. Might as well but I have to be healthy for what you have to do. Because I obviously am in civil service, um, and then civil service you have to be ready to do anything. You have to be ready to move, um, which is something many county people in the county will never say to you, um, first time. It's always a first time, isn't it, um. You know, but you always have to be ready because again with my job, you know, being a little warden and being a dog warden, you have to be ready. You really have to be ready, you have to be fit for what could come. And you have to be fit to move things, to lift things, um, and to investigate things. And um, obviously if you're half drunk, you know, if you're drunk and falling around the place, you'd be some quite county councilman, but then but then again I I don't think anybody would know the difference. Um, because, you know, the half the kind of people in the council don't move anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, um, enough of giving the council a hard time, because I'm going to give them a hard time. But yeah, I just say to people, no, it's an idea, and I say to young people, especially to young people, because it is something that you know you will regret in life, and most of this right, because I'm, you know, because it does affect you, it does affect your lungs, especially smoking. Um, very bad for you, really, really just extremely bad for your lungs. Um, and another thing too, this is how you would really stop people from smoking too and drinking. Um, I say to young people, you know, if you want to give up smoke, go and pick up rubbish on the side of the road. Um, and the amount of cigarettes you have to pick up and the amount of cigarette packets and tell you would put you off, when you would put you off smoke for the rest of your life. And that's, you know, because again, I know the damage smoking could do to people's lungs. But, you know, that alone, with the amount of cigarette packets I have to lift up every day, you really just get very sick of looking at them and you get you're sick of looking at them. And um, the same with alcohol, like the amount of beer boxes and the beer cans you find on the side of the road, you really get sick of it. Um, especially with the glass um Heideken uh, um cans. You know, glass Heideken, you know what I'm saying. But um you know it's hard because again I remember one of them stuck into the back of me when I had it in, when I had my bag over my shoulder. It stuck into my stuck into here a bit of glass. Um, and that wasn't nice, most of the time I had to walk all the way back with a with glass sticking into my side. And that was of a hydrogen bucket that was broke off, obviously, the ground. I'm not speaking too well today, am I? I probably had a, I probably, I'm speaking a bit very weirdly, I don't know. Um, I noticed that there a second ago. Um, don't know, might be, might be something, blah, 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 blah. 
Someone could be very wrong with me, but anyway. Um, continue on. Um, but yeah, just to say, it's just an idea. Even anything, make a new year's resolution. Um, There's no harm in trying to do something, change something. Um, but yeah, take care of yourself. Mind yourself. Take care of empire.